Ramirex Universa by James, Sean and Vimbai. Anorexia nervosa, otherwise known as anorexia, is a renowned clinical and food disorder which affects thousands of individuals on a global scale. Since its identification as an illness in 1870, it has been influential in numerous areas of psychological research and society in general. The disorder itself deteriorates an individual's psychological thought process creating a negative image of themselves in relation to food, such as a distorted body image, low self-esteem and extreme mood swings. These symptoms of anorexia will then have an impact upon the physical health of the individual. The individual will lose significant amounts of weight, become extremely fatigued and will have an intolerance to the cold. These are only a few of the effects of the disorder, however many more exist within society. Anorexia nervosa is characterised by the attempts to lose weight or avoid weight gain. Sufferers of anorexia often perceive themselves as being overweight when in fact they are excessively underweight due to a permanent fear of becoming fat. Anorexia nervosa peaks at mid-late adolescence with the main age of the onset of the disorder being 18 years old. However, it has been identified that children as young as 8 have begun to develop the disorder. And for this reason, this video is aimed to promote a key understanding of anorexia for adolescents of between 16 and 18 years old. There is no specific cause of anorexia. In the first instance, it could be considered to have a biological cause. In terms of the nature versus nurture argument, the nature argument would propose the genetic model of anorexia. This model would propose that it is an illness that appears to run within families. Strober et al. reported that female relatives of patients with anorexia were 10 times more likely to develop an eating disorder than a control population. Twin studies have also been used to determine the genetic basis of anorexia. Research based in London reported that 55% of identical twins were concordant for anorexia, whereas merely 7% for non-identical twins. Such twin data provides support for a genetic influence into the disorder. In contrast to this approach, the nurture argument for the causation of anorexia would propose a sociocultural model. This model places the anorexic patient within their social context and analyzes eating disorders as an expression of social values. Eating disorders such as anorexia occur most often within an industrialized culture, where there is a particular emphasis on thinness in relation to success. Magazines, celebrity worship and television create an unrealistic, materialistic image of the perfect successful person. The treatment plan for anorexia includes a combination of social therapy and controlled weight gain. Cognitive and analytical therapy is one treatment used based upon the theory that mental health conditions are caused by patterns on unhealthy behaviour and thoughts in the past. It involves three stages. Reformulation, which looks at past events which may explain why patterns have occurred. Recognition, which is helping the patients understand the contribution it's having upon the anorexia. And revision, which is the identification of change which could have caused the onset. Another treatment is interpersonal therapy, which is based upon the theory that relationships with other people and the outside world in general have a powerful influence upon mental health. During interpersonal therapy, the therapist will explore negative issues associated with your relationships and attempt to resolve these issues within your surroundings. Dependent upon the severity of the disorder, treatment will last a minimum of 6 to 12 months, if not more. Biological treatments for anorexia are not effective in the run, however, it can be used in combination with psychological treatments, and when it is used, it only affects a reduction of associated problems such as depression. SSRIs are used to reduce levels of depression with anorexia patients and help affect other treatments. This is achieved by blocking the pathways which are used for reuptake of serotonin into the presynaptic neuron, which then maintains high levels of serotonin within the synapse. Another medication used is called ozalapine, which is a drug used to Reduce levels of negative emotions to issues such as weight and diet in people who have not responded to other forms of treatment. SSRIs are avoided until you start to gain weight as a consequence of the medication has severe side effects in people who are classed as underweight. This particular form of medication is only used in young people under the age of 18. The causes and treatments of anorexia are neither biological nor social in their entirety, rather a combination of both. For further information into anorexia, please visit the NHS website. Thank you.